If you have a basket that requires a handle to be made out of the reed in your basket, um, this is the Easter basket and you'll see I have two really long pieces here that will be the handle. And um, I've already done four rows. Each pattern will tell you how many rows to complete and then you start to make your handle. Um, it's very easy to do. You also will have been given an insert piece that's been soaking. And what you're going to do is take one end of your basket, it really doesn't matter which one it is, and you're gonna come down here. Let me try to turn it so you can see it. You're gonna come down in here and it's gonna tuck in. You might need an awl to lift it. It's gonna come down in here and tuck the same spoke that it is, and it's gonna tuck in behind these pieces. Mm -hmm. And you can make it go all the way down, or you can make it go to the end of that, you know, that row so it hides however when you do it. So you've got your piece now tucked in. You're gonna take your insert piece and you're going to tuck it between the two. So it's like a sandwich. It's gonna go down about as far. You work with it a little bit, okay? And tuck it down in as far as you need it. So now you can see I've got three pieces. The piece that I haven't used yet, the insert piece, and then the piece that I tucked in. And then what you're gonna do, what I do is, I take the three pieces and I work them together so they go at the, at the same time. Let me get a little higher here. And I start to work up and just to keep them in place, I put a clothespin at the side, I put it in the middle, and I put another one here at the side, just to keep them in place. And then you've got down here. So you're gonna want these both to tuck behind these two and go all the way in. So I can see that's gonna be a little bit longer. It's usually best to cut them before you insert them and uh, you can come just a hair, just a hair shorter, so you make sure it does go in. Um, again, you might need your awl or a fit or whatever you might have to push them in there. I'm actually going the wrong direction that I usually go to try to help you see it. But you can tuck these down in. If your awl or fit is long enough to go under both of them, it's probably better to do that. Doing this upright like I'm doing it is a little more difficult. Um, I think. So, you're going to tuck them both into here. Tuck them into this one here. And you bring it down. Actually, I probably should check to make sure it's not going to be any longer, but. Here we go. And you just keep pressing it down until it goes in. And you can see it did not hide. And this one's not as long. So it's not gonna to go to that one, but we want it to hide. So you're gonna go cut it so it will go behind this one without seeing the edge sticking out. And then that one is only gonna go behind here. And so you have it hidden here where you can't see, but you can see you have three pieces now and you've created your handle. Um, as I, I'm gonna keep these on for the clothespins for a little bit. Um, once I get a little bit, a little bit higher with my basket, and weaving up these two here will get in the way so I'll remove those and then when I go to wrap my handle I'll remove the uh, the top one also but there you have tucking in to make the reeds on the side make a handle